I just finished up the last thing on the fuselage and that's a plywood doubler, 16th ply doubler on the nose for wear purposes on the nose block. I sanded the outside flush to the uh, eighth inch balls of fill around the nose and I was just blending that radius to the stringers. For the opening, I dremeled out the opening and then just took a flat, fine flat metal file and filed that opening to the eighth by eighth balsa pieces going around the nose. And I found this kind of interesting with the outside square to reference to and just an eighth inch surface here to match file that um, ply doubler. Kind of interesting how accurate you can get eyeballing something. Hundred twenty eight thou. Hundred twenty five thou. Hundred twenty seven thou. Hundred twenty seven. So accurate to less than five thousandths of an inch. It certainly doesn't need to be that accurate, but I just found that interesting how accurate you can be with your eyeball. Probably if you're within a 32nd of an inch, inch, that'd be fine on that. Um, I got the plan moved over, getting ready to start on the horizontal stabilizer. I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap. For this one, I'm gonna build it flat on the board. Um, interesting enough, I had to overwrite with pencil. This print is fading on me, the side of the print here. It was rolled up with this side outward. So it's faded, it's got a little wear and tear. Taped it together a little bit. But you can see where this is an original blueprint. And this is where I've wrote, overwrote it with pencil. This wing tip that I already built. It's like it's faded that bad where I'm going to have to trace the other wing tip. And lay it over onto this wing tip and draw that in. Can't even see it enough to darken it in. But this is a short kit. So I'll have all the ribs to cut out of the printed wood. These wingtip pieces. S1, 2, and 3. And I'll have to supply the trail and edge, the leading edge, and all the spars. I have all the printed wood laid out from the short kit. This is for the stabilizer and the rudder. Got some answers looking at the printed wood to A and B here. Here is A. So that will match the dihedral angle. The stabilizer is going to have some dihedral. If we can see it here, 7 eighths of an inch dihedral to the horizontal stabilizer. So this piece will go upright, right in here. And the B pieces are here and here. And they match the taper to the um, ribs. And they will be stood on edge right here and here. I didn't notice this initially. There's a half rib here. 
That's this piece right here. I don't see where it's marked on the print is stabilizer 1A, but that looks right to me. And the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Got to cut the ribs out. And then for my wing tips, S1, 2, and 3. And over here is S1, 2, and 3. So those would be for the wing tips. One thing I don't do with printed ribs, I don't cut out the mouth, this 90 degree angle where the leading edge goes, or the um, slots for the spars. I'll stack all the ribs together when I get them cut out and cut the uh, slots. That way you get a much better alignment just in case there's variance on the um, the uh, print and also what do you go by the printed line there's a thickness to the line so I'll do the cutouts after I get the um, ribs cut out of the uh, printed wood I have the ribs all stacked together and sanded Pretty much sanded to about the middle of the printed line. And I went with the middle of the line because it lines up with the length of the rib printed line. But here's why I didn't cut the notches to the printed line. You notice on the bottom of this rib, I got two pencil marks in line with the bottom spar. And that does not line up exactly with the printed lines. Also, the top spars do not line up. So I've marked two ribs like this. When I look straight down over the print, I made these marks. And that's what I'm going with because I'm going to build over the blueprint. So I'm trusting the middle of the printed line gives me my airfoil and it looks good to me. So what I have is two ribs marked. I stack them back together again, line them up. I have the top spars marked on either side, a rib on either side, and I'll sand all of them the uh, notches for the spars I'll sand them to these marks and that lines up with the print so with blocks made up like this if you just sand to full depth on your marks then you end up with 1 16th by 1 16th notches in your ribs Here is a complete set of ribs, airfoil sanded, all the notches for the spars sanded in, and the eighth by eighth inch notch for the leading edge. The way I did the leading edge was another size um, block. 
This is eighth inch deep, but for eighth by quarter inch spar, but it gave me overlap so I can get my depth by sanding both ways. And that way the width of this hangs off the bird's mouth. So I work that both ways until I hit my depth from both ways. That is why I did not trust the um, printed lines on the notches. You can see even on the partial ribs, the top notches were the farthest off. The bottom notches were pretty decent, but there's a nice, accurate, complete set of ribs. That way when I build the horizontal stabilizer, everything's going to be nicely aligned, nice and straight. I had selected some trailing edge stock. It's my leading edge balsa stock, and I'm going to need three sixteenth by sixteenth stringers or spars. These are spars. So time to start cutting up some balsa and. Pinning it down to the board. The only thing that gets pinned down to the print on the stabilizer is the bottom spar in the trailing edge. The wing tip will be built flat on the plan. I have to trim these pieces, these printed pieces to match the print. They're a little bit off some of these angles and the outline it's not exact. But we'll build it flat on the plan and then raise it up to match up with the leading edge. If you look at these ribs, it actually has a, it's a flat bottom airfoil, but it has a, a raised leading edge. It's identical construction to the uh, tips on the wing. So this was flat on the plan, and these are under cambered airfoils, but the leading edge is raised so this wing tip I have to be raised up, cut a um, bird's mouth or 90 degree cut in there to uh, center it up on the leading edge. And then the spars have to be bent to match the, um, the wing tip, gives it the tapered wing tip. I have the trailing edges pinned down. I have the wing tips built. 
started adding a couple ribs. What I did was build the wingtips flat on the board, but they are not glued to this spar. I need to raise this wingtip up and glue it to this rib, centered on that rib. I already have this one glued like that. So this is raised up. You can see it's up off the board. It's not glued to this bar. Then I have to cut the 90 degree bird's mouth in a wing tip so I can add the leading edge and have it fit into that 90 degree angle. Glue it to the wing tip and then sand the leading edge to blend into the wing tip. I have the horizontal stabilizer completely framed except for the A and the B pieces that go in this center section here. I can't put those in until I cut it in half and set up my 7 8 inch dihedral on each tip. And those pieces will have to then be built in with it set on that angle. I cut out this piece for the rudder. It's an eighth inch piece of balsa. It's part of the uh, rudder frame. The horizontal stabilizer fits in here. And the rudder will be built off of that along with a sub rudder going underneath the fuselage. This piece fits over the center section of the horizontal stabilizer like so and this opening will go over this A piece so that's how that will fit in the rudder the B pieces will get an angle sanded on this side and glued to the trail and edge to match up to the dihedral angle. So I won't be able to glue that in until I cut this apart and set up the dihedral angle. I also noticed I have two of these partial ribs and the reason for that is that'll be the same thickness of fill that'll be under this rudder piece and I can't put them in until I cut it apart and they'll go in the ends of the halves and then I'll have to glue the two halves together with it set on the dihedral angle. 